And you know, you know, on Facebook, they always freeze one photo for the videos. It's going to be the one where it's like my face is like the worst. Like, so what is today? Today is Wednesday, August 19th. It's a special day. And it is one o'clock and we're just hanging out. I, I'm Trish and this is, Anna. and we're part of the Purple Painted Lady. So welcome. And uh, hi there. I don't know if I have to put anything on for notes. Do I have to do that? Maybe hit that little button? Nope. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Purple Painted Lady. We have missed you. We hope you are well. Again, I'm Trish and this is Hannah. And uh, I'm the camera lady. And we thought we would just tune in today to do something a little... I guess different with, what are we doing with? We're using Iron Orchid Design transfers and we're putting them on a purse. How purse. unusual, yeah. So Hannah walked into the shop the other day. She was carrying this cute little clutch and um, she's gonna show it to you. And that's really what sort of sparked and inspired this Facebook Live. So I'm going to flip this around in just one second. So that way, it's all about Hannah, okay. So, um, why don't we first show them this cute purse? Yes. Yeah, so, well, this is the purse when I got it. Just plain. Where'd you get it? Uh, Target. Did you? Oh, okay. I didn't know if you got it somewhere else, like a Goodwill or something. Yeah, I was like, that would have been total score. And then I added some flair to it. That is so awesome. So, yeah. tell me again. This purse is made out of what? Like a vinyl? Yeah, like a pleather, I guess. Cool. And you'd used... I used the bronze transfer. It has lots of different moving parts, so you're able to really trim it and kind of place the pieces wherever you want. Oh, shoot. Guess what? I'm, I'm videoing this portrait, not landscape. Okay, no big deal. Okay, great. So you're using an Iron Orchid Design transfer, yes. and these are typically used on furniture, right? Cabinets. Glass, windows we have. So because of COVID and everything, um, stores have to have like the plexiglass in between the checkout counter. So we had a little fun and they created window as our barrier. And I used that same transfer on this. Oh, where is it? Kind of give us a point so we can see it. All along here. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, perfect. So hey, if you're a small business owner out there, and you're, you need to do a little divide. Or for, sometimes people are doing these at weddings. Yeah. We just used a vintage window pane. Okay, so we just thought, what an interesting thing. Let's share how you can use IOD transfers in different ways. And it adheres. There isn't anything else special you need to do with that. No, it's really um, the transfers themselves, when you separate them, are already basically an adhesive. Okay. Can you hear it? Is it a little um, tacky? Can you do that is, again? yes. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, you really don't have to work too hard at it. It kind of lays itself on, and then you use the tool that's included to just encourage it a little bit. What's that, like a little cl plastic applicator? Yeah. Sort of looks like a um, popsicle stick in a way. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So um, transfers, like you said, go on furniture. Do you need to clean the surface prior? Yeah, you're going you're gonna to want to clean the surface really the same as if you were going to paint the piece, if you haven't painted it already. If you are painting the piece, you want to do whatever, however many coats of paint, then you want to do your transfer, and then you want to wax. You don't want to put the transfer over your wax because it won't adhere. Um, another thing to mention is if you're using a brush on top coat instead of wax, you want to paint and then do a layer of that brush on top coat, then the transfer, and another layer of the brush on top coat, kind of like a sealer sandwich. So a couple <laughs> different ways to do it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and um, the grids. Let's talk about this really nice little feature of these. Um... The grids are nice, especially um, on transfers like this one here, which is another one of my favorites, Prim and Trim. I use this one on my piano. So it is more just horizontal lines and they're straight. So the grids really help you make sure that they are on the piece straight. Um, with this one, it's not as big of a deal because it's kind of all different directions, but something like this, you want to make sure it's nice and straight. And that really helps. So just for people like me, the grid is on that clear plastic. Yes. It does not get transferred to yes. your furniture. Yeah, it's it's just, just used for layout. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. 
Um, also, you did mention this other transfer that you that you used on your piano, yes. and with that, it can be used where you just cut the border, yeah. Yeah, right? This one's nice. I used it all solid because I did really like all of the different aspects. But um, I think the intention was to cut it and use them as different borders around maybe like. Um, Maybe around our window there, we could have done a border. Or the top of a dresser, yeah. or I've seen them with the across the front of yeah. the drawers. It looks really nice, but okay. That's where the grid really comes in handy because they're meant to be straight. Yes, okay, great. So why don't you go ahead and take over? All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna flip it over to the unused side. And I have kind of a few different ones cut out already. So I think I'm gonna start with this one. I did like how it kind of fit the shape of the purse. So I'm just going to separate it from the backing paper. And Once you separate it from the backing paper, yes. what are some of the things that are important? You want to be careful. If it folds in on itself, there's really not much to do to save it. It's going to stick together and um, that piece is going to be not really useful anymore. So you want to make sure you're confident in where you're laying it. I'm just going to kind of get an idea of where I'm going to put it first before I lay it all the way down. It is hard to pick it back up and move it once you've laid it down. So, just going to, first I kind of use my fingers to make sure it's nice and secure and it's not moving around at all. Sort of presets it. Yeah, exactly. And then you just take your tool. Um, so we were talking about earlier, something like this, a softer material is gonna take a little bit more elbow grease to get it all the way on. If it's like a piece of furniture, it's much easier um, because it is a really solid surface. So sometimes you do find too that once they start, I'm gonna get down in here, the rest of it just kind of follows. So what I like to do is as I'm pulling it off, I take my tool on this side and push it at the same time. So it's kind of separating the two areas. If you were pulling that up and you noticed that something was yeah. still... So if I keep pulling it right now, you oh. can see where it's still lifting up. Yeah, can you so, wrap that around the corner or do you not want to do that? I can. Okay. Um, so like this area right in there, Yes. I'm just going to lay it back down and push it a little bit more and now it's on. Oh, okay. So yeah. don't panic. Exactly. Don't pull it off. Just... So like Trish mentioned, I'm going to wrap this part around the side. Will that be... Yeah. I want to make you do something that's... Not possible, but yeah, it is. And it's actually kind of cool around the corners because it does separate there first. And then like I mentioned earlier, the rest just kind of follows in line. We were talking about other interesting ways of using IOD. So mm -hmm. um, I am working on opening a potential sort of like flexible event venue. And we have a couple golf carts that can be used. And the golf carts are really plain. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about maybe using some IOD to embellish the golf carts. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking that's cool. That laid really nice yeah, on that corner. Yeah. And it's on there. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. okay, awesome. So you're doing this over the purse. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting that once you pull that, what is this exactly? Vellum? What do you call acetate. that? Acetate. Once you pull the acetate away, can I show them something before yeah. you pull it all off? The, um, once you've actually applied it, it looks sort of hazy. Yeah, you can definitely tell where it's separated. It's almost like a, just this is like a halo over the top. Okay. Basically. Yeah, that's a good explanation. So the voice of the demonstrator is very faint, but the second voice, meaning me, <laughs> which of course is clear and audible. So we just need you to speak up just a little louder when you're talking. So, okay, so you're just finishing rubbing it on. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Look how cute that looks. Mm -hmm. So then I am gonna take a cloth. Um, it's a good idea on furniture to do this too. Just take a cloth and burnish it on, just in case there were any areas you missed. I'm just really, really lightly rubbing over it. Um, and that just kind of solidifies Sort of that. sets it really well. Yeah, exactly. 
especially in these corners here. And on the corners, what I'm doing is taking the cloth and just pressing it first so that I'm not rubbing anything away that didn't get totally stuck on. Right. And this is just something we're doing as a fun accessory. We're not yeah. worried about, is yeah. this going to be an heirloom bag right. that you're going to have right. as an inheritance for somebody else? Um, I mean, can it last for a very long time? Sure. Um, it's a purse. It, I don't see it being abused or in extreme situations, yeah. but um, it is just a fun way to an embellish. And you know what? We just I just went to a wedding this weekend. These would be wonderful. You can use transfers so many interesting ways. Right. You can do something for the centerpieces, wrap that around them if you wanted to, like mm -hmm. some very large glass tower, mm -hmm. um, like a vase. Okay, let's talk about temperature. So obviously we're doing this inside. Right. But people order IOD from us. We ship them or mail them the IOD. Yeah. What are things we need to be, know about regarding temperature for transit and then also for application? So cold temperatures are actually good for the transfers. Hot temperatures are where it can get a little iffy. So if you get a transfer delivered and it's a really hot day and it's been outside, it sounds kind of funny, but IOD actually recommends putting them in the freezer. And that actually will encourage them to stay on this sheet and not move on to this sheet. Okay. So, and if you go to use a transfer and you see, like you start to lift this off and you see that this has stuck onto the backing, you want to lay it back down and then put it in the freezer and that'll encourage it to go back onto the acetate. Okay. And something that I think... Um... Uh, IOD is going to be coming out with as we go toward the fall is a new layout or structure. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. Like, okay. Um, so they are going to be, instead of the tubes, just more flat. So, um, you know, it's just going to be easier to mail them. It's going to be easier to store them. Um, is the sheet itself, instead of having this, which is what? Probably about at least two feet by two feet, this, this piece right here. Yes. They'll come actually separated mm -hmm. in smaller sections. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, did you want to add any more? Maybe yeah. something to... Yeah. Does anybody see one that they love? And we will help decorate Hannah's little <laughs> clutch for her. I don't know if anyone's out there. If you see something, I don't know how you're going to pick it out anyways. Like you like the flower? You want to cut it out and actually show them? So that's, yeah. that's one of the beauties about IOD is that, you know, like, for example, this. You're not using it straight off the acetate as it is. Mm -hmm. You can cut and piecemeal and paste them any which way you want. It's just important that when you're cutting that you also cut the white background with it, right? Yep. What would you call that little flower? I don't even know. I don't know. It's a, it's not an orchid. No, I don't know. I don't know what branch, what that would be. If anyone out there is a horticulturist, I don't know if I said that correctly, but let us know. That is really pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, so you take it off that little white background once you're ready to mm -hmm. place it, and you don't push it Where until. Do you go? Where do you think? I don't know. I kind of. It's your bag. I know. I it's like hard. It kind of there, and then with maybe like some smaller. Like, okay, there. let's do it. Go for All it. All right. Such a wild woman. I can't wait to do this to my golf carts. Yeah. Which yes. transfers are you going to use? That's a great question. I think I'm going to hold out and wait until I see what transfers are released by IOD here coming in the fall. Yeah. Just to see if we have, you know, more choices. I should make a request for IOD to, I mean, the country cottagey romantic roses mm -hmm. and the like peonies are really nice because it could, these would be used for a wedding. Yeah. I don't know. The um, wallflower one. Yes. Yes. So right now, let's, you know, let's talk about this. Because yeah. of the pandemic, everybody probably has at one point or another had a hard time finding paper towel, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, you know, the list goes on and on. And that's obviously impacted um, building materials, groceries, and including things such as IOD and paint. So some of our transfers are on back order at yes. the moment. But there is going to be a restock happening in September, early September. So only a couple more weeks to hold out. So you just got to be patient. So again, you're using that rag, just sort of yes. pressing down and almost like lightly burnishing it, just mm -hmm. really setting it. Yes. That looks adorable. Look how much nicer this looks now that you've done the transfer than it was when it was just plain. How cute. 
I love this idea, especially if you have an outfit and you want to try to coordinate it and somehow it transfers, you know. Yeah. So um, Hannah's in the middle of, she just purchased her first house. Yeah. We're really excited. And we are going to be doing some Facebook Lives at her home. You want to talk about the one we, the most exciting thing that we talked about today? Well, um, we're going to be painting the cabinets, but we've been playing around with some paint sprayers. So we got, want to show you guys the different methods of applying the paint. So we're going to be using the sprayer to do my cabinets. Mm -hmm. I chose the color Greek blue, so it's a little fun, a little different. Um, but the sprayer is just going to show you guys how to accelerate the process. It's still going to give you a really nice smooth finish. Um, and we're excited to try it out. Yeah, with the tips and tricks. Yes. So you're going to want to, we will post an event regarding that. It's probably going to be in the next, what, four weeks? Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm very proud of Hannah. Yeah, it's so exciting. And she has done so much work already. So we can't wait to share um, what she has done and some of the projects at her new home. So are you going to do one more? I think so. What? Let's go ahead. Which one do you think appeals to you? Yeah, it's your purse. Yeah, I'll do that one. Wait, before you do it. Okay. Before you do that, let's just look at some other, like, choices. Well, that one I felt... Yeah. Was that? that there's that one. that one. So there's that one. So this is number one. And it doesn't matter what we all vote. It's your purse. You get to choose. I also like this one because the other ones are a little busy. So keeping maybe more solid. So that would be option two. And then... Yeah, it's a lighter color. color. I also like it. There's I like a smaller that. Smaller version of that. Let's one. try this. See the smaller one. I kind of like it if it was sort of like like that. Yeah. Okay, and that would be option three. Nobody's voting since it's your bag. You get to choose. I'm gonna go for the more basic one. Did I hide it on you? Yeah. Is it this one here? I, it on purpose, didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Hey, it's your Thanks. purse. You're in control. It's all about you, Hannah. Okay. You made a decision. Okay. Remember, once you press that down, you're basically making a commitment. I don't know if I like it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. <sighs> so you're just using your fingernail and yeah, rubbing right it along the, that edge. Right on the corner. Sometimes it's easy to just get it started over there. Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't used the IOD transfers, what are you waiting for? They are so fun and easy. If you're one of those people that paint furniture and then sell it on Facebook Marketplace or Etsy, you know, this just elevates the whole design. It's so fun. So fun. I feel like you need something to soften this okay. twig. What do you guys think? Do you think she should soften that? Laura's asking, have we reopened the store? Laura, um, our Greece location is definitely open Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 6. Macedon, um, we are open, but you just need to knock on the door, and we're just inviting the people who are doing the painting in versus having someone's whole family. So hopefully that's not an inconvenience. Um, but it just makes everybody, um, it just keeps the social distancing down here for us. So, so what do you think? Do you think that one little twig needs to be softened? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And you know, I'm wondering if you could do something just like the edge of something. Yeah. Like that. You know what I mean? Oh, look at me. <laughs> I guess you made a commitment cause I took the pick <laughs> and you don't need to wrap it unless you want to. Although it would be kind of cute, maybe on the bottom, just you think? Little... Yeah, kind of. Okay. It's kind of like when you see a bride and the bottom of their soles have a decoration on them. I think that's cute. I hope you like it because I picked this one yeah, out. I do like it. I'd feel bad. Oh, Carol said, "Looks great as is." Sorry, Carol. <laughs> No, this is really fun. It just, you know, another idea we were talking about doing this on canvas sneakers, yeah. Converse. Yeah. So if you have Converse sneakers, we were thinking this would be kind of fun just to do it on those. Yeah, I like it. I think that little bottom piece isn't all the way on. There you go. Yeah, I like how that wrapped around it. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's see. Hold it up. Good job. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. 
Okay, anybody out there? I thought the straight twig also needed something. Good job. Thanks, Laura. Uh, <laughs> Made me feel better. Not Laura. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we have our peanut gallery could be commenting, making us look like we have fans. That's so funny. Okay, so we're going to be doing some Facebook Lives, most likely in September. I'm going to turn this around. Hey, everybody. Didn't they turn out great? I think it came out really cool. So we're going to do some Facebook Lives. I know we've been MIA, um, mostly over at Hannah's new house. Um, we're really excited. So we'll be painting her kitchen cabinets. We'll be using a sprayer, and we may have a couple sprayers to show you the difference, like it's sort of an entry-level starter sprayer, and then maybe one you might want to um, graduate to if you know, you're going to be doing more painted projects. Or if you're planning on painting your kitchen, even with buying a pretty nice sprayer, you still are saving a significant amount of money compared to paying somebody else to do it, right? What other projects? Hannah's in the middle of painting her bathroom uh, linoleum floor. Yep. Yep. So when do you think we can post about that? Um, I'm going to finish the video tonight. So all I have left is to do the lacquer on top to seal it. I've done all the stenciling. I'm excited to show pictures. It's my way of getting a commitment out of her. But anyways, no, it came out, <laughs> this bathroom before was... Well, it you needed some help. Yeah, it Sponge did. painting. Yeah, but it, boy, you got to see what she's done to it. It looks fantastic. So uh, Hannah's done some videos of painting the linoleum floor in her bathroom and stenciling, and she's going to be using the Annie Sloan lacquer, mm -hmm. correct? So somebody asked, what do you do with this transfer now to so, make sure it doesn't come off? Do you have to seal it? Nope. So really over this, there's no top coat you need to use. Um, the other side, I did a while ago, I would say. So it definitely has some areas where it's a little scratched. It's seen some wear, but I think that's fine. But this is your everyday purse. Yeah, yeah. This really is meant just to sort of, um, I don't know, just for fun. And I like it now because I have, the two sides are a little different. So I have a couple options, which way I can wear it. You're so funny. <laughs> we could have did a whole different color transfer yeah. if you wanted to, so. Okay, so. Um, and that's for sure. Some people don't have a sound. Hopefully when we upload, download, it'll all come through. We thank you guys for tuning in. We promise not to be um, MIA next month. I'm excited to show you some other projects we have going on. Um, and we hope you stay well. So bye. Bye.